Hi, my name is Tony Salas here with Diesel Talk. Uh, one of the biggest problems that we have in training is the fact that people think they know when they don't know or they pick and choose what they want to know. So one of the questions you want to ask yourself is uh, where's your education at? In other words, have you taken a two-year program, hell, a three-year program? Have you gone to any type of tech school? And the reason why we say that is because the Duramax, the Dodge Cummins or Ram Cummins, along with the Ford Power Stroke families have always been a challenge for the simple reason it's kind of a niche. And in this case, many college or community college programs or other programs, they offer heavy duty class A stuff, in other words, the big engines. And then you got the automotive side. But to say that there is a lot of light duty programs or just mention of light duty, you know, there are not many. For example, we have a Jeep Cherokee diesel, three liter diesel, but we also see the F-150 along with the Duramax and the Ram trucks, 1500s, now the light duty, I guess what I'm trying to get at, are now using the three liter, uh, which we call the VM Matori motor. So who is the technicians that know what's going on with today's diesel, especially on, like I said, these light duty side. So there's common rail, there's turbochargers, there is electronics, electrical controls, there's body controls, there's so much on the vehicle, but the most important thing is understanding how things work. In my classes, I've always said, isn't it fun to work on something when you know how it works? And I've made the mistake of being in groups in Facebook, such as Power Stroke 6 Liter, the 6.4, even Ram Cummins. And my God, I shouldn't be on there because it's like stressing myself every time that I'm looking at them because everybody thinks they know. Or just because they have a race tuner that gives data, that'll give them plenty of enough information to understand what's going on. Well, if you're an independent, well, that's good for you if you're a do-it-yourself or you're trying to fix your own truck. But here's the thing. The material is out there. Bottom line, the material is out there to learn how these things work. So if you really want to know how things work, look it up in the service manuals. <clears throat> now, today's auto parts, they give you a lot of access to information. Us that are independents or even dealership technicians, we have online access. And that online access is giving us, you know, uh, pretty much a diagnostic trouble code charts, the service information procedures, repair procedures, and so on. So when you're installing something like an injector, is there a torque sequence that you're supposed to follow? In other words, the torque specification you put an injector at. Is there a specification for uh, diagnosing the common rail fuel injection system? Is there a low pressure lift pump spec? And, you know, is there also a lot of other information that tells you how things work? In other words, a section called description and operation. So if you're not following any kind of service info and you're just shooting from the hip and you think you're going to find everything to a Google search, or you think you're going to go to forum and people are going to help you for everything, it might be the blind leading the blind. And in this case, you got a guy who says, well, this worked for me and this is going to work for you. That's not true. Um, for example, many instances, you know, the truck just dies and a guy put, literally posts and put, can somebody tell me what's wrong with it? Well, hell, there's so many things that could be wrong. Hell, does it have even fuel? You know, if I'm dealing with a power stroke six liter, do you have a sync message? Do you have ICP pressure? And if you have ICP pressure, you know, what else is going on? Are all the injectors functioning? In other words, there's got to be a sequence to follow in understanding diesel. But if you're at the opinion that, you know, you think you know it all and it's all just plain Jane because we get phone calls here as a shop and those calls are telling, you know, it's simple. You guys should be able to figure out whether it be in a common rail injection problem, a turbo problem or any kind of problem. You know, they think it's really easy to find. And lastly, you know, the scan tool. Everybody talks about these scan tools. And when we talk about scan tools, they think they tell us everything that's wrong. Well, it's got a, you know, it'll tell you what's wrong, a diagnostic trouble code. Well, let me tell you, if a computer was so smart, I wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't be talking to you right now as we see that, or like I am now. So therefore, what I'm trying to say is you got to understand how things work and why they do what they do. So stay tuned, keep watching, and we'll keep talking about more about diesels. <clears throat> How's that for a practice run? <clears throat>